Hey guys, so for today I have a book tag I, I saw on Beth June 327's channel that she had done the book collector tag and I really enjoyed it so I wanted to partake on it as well so we're gonna get right to it it's only seven questions so let's get to it so the first question is how many books do you own so right before this video I went ahead and did uh, an inventory of all the books that I have like I even have proof like I have these little sticky notes that I was using on the shelves to figure out how many I have and in total I have 633 physical books Jeez, that's a lot so in this room there's 633 books I know that I lent some out so I don't know how many I don't know who has what out of like the three people that I lent books to so I'll say that I probably have like 640 books in total um, I did not count the ebooks yet because I was kind of scared of what the number is going to be but I'm going to check my nook for you guys I've had the first generation nook for from the very beginning so let's go ahead and look here and the number is up here <laughs> I'm afraid to tell you guys don't judge me there's 2,171 ebooks that are on here. I know that a lot of them, no, not even a lot of them, maybe, uh, maybe 171 of them are, are repeats or meaning that I have the physical copy and the e-copy of it because I really, really like the book a lot, so I decided to go ahead and buy it. I know that, like, with the Blue Blood series, I have an ebook. um, I know, for example, like Rachel Me's adult series, the Succubus series, whatever it's called. The Georgina Kincaid series, that's what it's called. The Georgina Kincaid series, like I had them on ebook, like the, the first time I read them. And I recently, just within the last like two weeks, acquired all six books to physically have them. So there's something like that. I tend to try to get... Well, no, that's not true. A lot of the little small paperbacks, like, I tend to just get the mini book because it's just easier that way. But anyways, on to the next question. How long does it, uh, how long has it taken you to accumulate your collection? So, I started, like, this collection that I have, like, in my room because I, I mean, I really didn't have one before when I was younger. Like, I'd have, like, one or two books, but I wouldn't really call that a collection. It was just kind of, like... Hey mom, we're at the store, buy me this, please, and her being all okay. So, anyway, um, I got back into reading when I read Twilight. I read Twilight in, I want to say maybe May of 2008. Yes, because Breaking Dawn was going to come out in August, and I remember finishing, anyways, different story. It was then, it was in June I want to say it was in June when I decided to invest in other authors um, and other stories and stuff like that. So that's when I started getting like Cassandra Clare and Elizabeth Chandler, Rachel Mead, Melissa De La Cruz, and it just has gone on from there. Where we've had all these books. So yeah, that's when my collection started. Um, on to the next question. How often do you buy books? I buy books for sure every two weeks. Like every time I get I get paid bi weekly, every two weeks I buy at least four books. Five books. Five books. Sometimes I'll buy like sometimes it feels like I'm buying once a week because when I go to the grocery store or like Target or Walmart, like I always go by the book section and I always end up leaving like with one book or something so it feels like I just buy books every week how do you arrange your books I don't have a system at all I my first shelf was like five shelves and I literally would just put and like the second shelf was like my favorite authors and it kind of went through there and then my like to be read list was like the top shelf and then now that it's progressed to the amount that it has I had my uncle build me 
um, a shelf from floor to ceiling and I didn't know how to arrange it so my cousin I told my cousin I was just doing alphabetical order and she's like just do it from your favorite so I just did what she said so it's not so much like my favorite books but like my favorite authors start from the top and go down to the bottom not that I don't like the authors that are on the bottom like I do but like on my bottom shelf it's just a lot of like the little paperbacks because I can fit I think there's like 60 I think there's 60 books down there like the little paperbacks that fit down there so it's just that up there and then on top of my entertainment center of like my television there's like more of those little paperbacks but so the other shelves are what have like these shelves they're just they have no reason I mean if someone were to want to borrow the approved people on my list to borrow <laughs> if they wanted to borrow a book and they asked me you know such and such book like I can be like oh it's right here and pull it out and give it to them like I I don't know I know my shelves anyways on to the next question what was the first book you can remember buying so the first book I can remember buying was in elementary school it was with Glastic it was Clifford the Red Dog Clifford the Red Dog Clifford, yeah I think that's the way it's called uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog something like that please forgive me it's been years and I think I was buying the book for my little brother or little sister, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, on to the next question. Um, what was the last book you purchased? So the last book I purchased, it wasn't even a, it wasn't one. It was like a combination. I had gone to the used bookstore at the library in the town over, and. I bought my sister some books and I have the box right here so I'll just show you guys what it is that I got her um, and it's because my sister lives in a different state than I do um, so we really don't see each other but she's a big reader well she's not as big as a reader as me but she's still a reader so I got her some books because she knows how much I love them and she loves them too so anyways um, I got her Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkeles. This one actually didn't buy. This uh, they messed up on my online order, and I got this for free. <laughs> so I already own a copy. Like I love the Perfect Chemistry series. So like Perfect Chemistry, um, Rules of Attraction, Chain Reaction. Like I have them. They're actually. Actually, right there. <laughs> so there's no point in me keeping it, so I'm giving it to my sister. So there's that, and then at the used bookstore, I found the second copy of, or the second book to the Blue Blood series called Revelations. It was 99 cents. The they also had the third book, Masquerade paperback 99 cents and they also had the fourth book the Van Allen legacy yes um, and hardback and it was two dollars so I got my sister essentially four books for four dollars so I'm a great sister <laughs> anyway so those are the books the last books that I purchased so next question is what is the longest book you own on um, this one I was kind of torn not because I can't decide which one is the bigger book which one is the bigger book but it's because there is the what is it called the trilogy no the circle trilogy sorry the Circle Trilogy by Ted Decker. It is three books in one. It is black, red, and white, which is not even a trilogy anymore because after that, after I bought that book, he wrote another one. So there's another one to it. 
Anyways, that book altogether is 1,200 pages. I don't have it on me because I lend it to my friend who still has not given it back to me, but it's okay. I know she's good with books. I don't have to worry. I was looking for a book that was just a book. I forgot I was playing music in the background. <laughs> Anyways, I'll let it play. So when I was doing the counting, I was looking for a book, like a big book that is um, just one story in it. And what I went ahead and found was Ken Follett's um, World Without Ends. Um, the reason I have this book is because I wanted to read Pillars of the Earth. I saw the show like on Stars, and I've always wanted to read Pillars of the Earth. I just never found like a good copy. And I didn't want to spend like $30 on it or $20. I can't remember. Anyway, so I recently did just barely acquire it like six months ago, four months ago, something like that. So I do want to go ahead and read it this year. Um, but anyways, this one back to how big it is. This book has 1,014 pages and it's just the one story versus the trilogy is 1200 but it's three stories together so I guess this is my biggest book on to the next um, and final question is what is the shortest book you own the shortest book I own is Wasteland by Francesca Leah Block it's uh sorry this the cover is like super white but yeah this book is really short like like this is like one chapter like this and this so I mean I don't know really small um this book actually is 150 pages but with chapters like that I don't know it's really really small like, it's even small in size. <laughs> it's not a full-size book. But anyways, yeah. So, Francesca Lea Block, Wasteland. Really liked it. The reason I picked it up because of the back. It said, like, a haunting love story, poetic and lush, love among the ruins. Quick, easy read. I can't remember what I gave it. Might have been four stars. I'll link it below so you guys can see, like, my Goodreads rating if you wanted to know about this book. But, yeah. So, that is the book collector tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And since I wasn't tagged for it, I'm going to tag everybody that sees this video if they want to go ahead and do it. It's a fun tag. I had fun doing it. So, I go... I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do do it, leave a video response below or comment um, the link and I'd be glad to go ahead and look at it. I do enjoy these tags. So you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.